Ta la 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 la, ce n'est qu'un au revoir, mes frères. I am Barbie Astro Barbie, fairy of the new year. How are you? Are you ready to cross over? Oh, I am too. Welcome to your weekly horoscope and happy new year. Vibration 2, which promises a wonderful rebirth for all of us, individually, collectively. Number two means love. It says loud and clear that love is the answer. And where there's love, we can manifest our wildest dreams. And love means also togetherness. Together, we can make miracles. So let's get ready for a very smooth, very aware, enlightening end of the year. This week, the sun is in the sun of Capricorn, so happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Capricorn, we love you. The moon will travel in the signs of Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. Although we are very happy to say goodbye to this, I would say the least crazy year, but it did help us to grow and be more aware and maybe wake up and somehow to start a beautiful movement of solidarity, maybe in our country, in our lives, in the world. And I really believe this solidarity is here to stay. If all the crazy stuff happened just to awaken us, it was worth it. So let's be grateful of the many lessons that occurred in our lives individually, in the world, in society, politically, in life. Everything is a process. It's a journey. Everything happens always for the better good. At the end, the light will always, always conquer the dark. And since 2012, let's remember that we are slowly entering the magical new age of Aquarius the era of love and peace. Remember, imagine all the people together, no frontier. I mean, this is gonna happen and nobody can stop it because together, solidarity, we will make it happen. Happy New Year, everybody, I love you. I love you, love you, love you. And when life seems unfair to you, oh, please have faith and know that everything in the world anything what goes around comes around rich powerful weak poor everyone gets back what they put out so don't worry be happy this saturday we have a bubbly moon in gemini well expected to fiery mars lucky jupiter and powerful pluto bringing us a feeling of excitement joy confidence and a strong desire to connect and celebrate with other people so let's do that this Sunday, well, ding dong, four, five, three, two, one, ta-dam, 2018 is here. Happy New Year, everybody. I love you, my friends, my family, my clients, my everybody. Somehow we end the year on a very, very high note with a bubbly moon in Gemini that inspires us to have fun and celebrate life to the fullest and like, wow, we're ready for a fresh start. Yuppie! Happy New Year! Five, four, three, two, one. Bang! Happy New Year! Monday, well, Happy New Year! We start the year with a spectacular, giant, super full moon in the sign of Cancer. Wow! Hope is in the air. It smiles at the smart sun, loving Venus, white Saturn, and dreamy Neptune, and also energetic Mars, giving rise to the ocean tides, giving rise to a new beginning everywhere. And also, it sort of like um, brings up the tides in our emotional lives. We'll feel very, very deeply everything. So it's an ending of the year in a very, very uh, high note. And we know that things will be different. There's a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of optimism, and hope in the air. Oh my God, I love it. A good time also to make our yearly resolutions, to start fresh, forgive, forget, turn the page, and just let's do things and think big dreams, always with the desire of born to serve. That's the key, it's all about love. And remember that together, 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 we can make the world a paradise, and we will. 
Tuesday. Good news, Uranus, planet of change and shock in the sign of Aries will go frontwards. Oh, it will be a relief. Awakening the inner rebel in us. Now we're ready for the fight. Get back at the wheel and really do what's right for us in order to make this world our personal life and the country where it should be. With a feeling of solidarity, we can accomplish miracles. Yuppie, I like it. Do you like it? On Wednesday, the moon in Leo, smiling at white Saturn and Neptune and Venus, puts us in a very good mood. We feel glamorous, sexy. It's a good time to shine, to show our beauty, to go out, to have fun, and to say to everyone, I love you. Don't be shy. I do it all the time. People love it. Thursday, the moon in Leo makes a very sweet trine to grounded Mercury and loving Venus, but it makes a little square to energetic Mars and protective Jupiter. It makes this day filled with glamour, unexpected surprise, romance, and also it's a good time to really let our hair down to be innovative and just let loose a little bit and just share what we have in our hearts. Okay? Don't be shy. Don't be lonely. Just reach out to other people today. Friday, the moon in Virgo, trining wise Saturn, opposing dreamy Neptune, tells us it's a good time to reflect on our lives and make plans for the future. And don't live your life about what people think and say and what they expect, but to do it truly according to your real uh, higher self, your real true self. Only you. It's always about us. It's always about you. Okay? Follow you. And then the other people will follow after that. Everybody, we have to do our own thing. Capricorn, happy birthday to you. We love you, little goats, because you're so wise. Well, the super full moon in your relationship sector really puts you on a pedestal. Family is very important. Take breaks from work and spend quality time with loved ones. New Year's Eve and New Year's Day will be delightful. In the coming year, Saturn, your master planet, in your uh, house definitely give you a boost, a new wisdom. And Jupiter in your karmic sector also brings you a new beginning, an opportunity to create a solid foundation for your future and a chance to be the best you could be in health and finances and romance. If you're single, you could fall in love. It's a, a year to think grandiose, all new, all fresh. Your magical color, gold, lucky numbers, 4 and 48. Aquarius, the super full moon in your work sector and Uranus, your master, moving forward, gives you wings and joy in your heart. Get ready to experience a lot of new stuff and have a special connection with people around you. Someone original and unusual may enter your life also to give you some new ideas about your highest destiny. And for the coming year, Jupiter, planet of luck, in your career sector and Saturn in your spiritual house promises inner and better health, some kind of peace, success and financial gain in career, more connection with the family and more flow in your love life. You may have to take decisions and romance, but it will bring more peace and happiness. Your magical color, lilac, lucky numbers 2 and 22. Pisces, the super full moon in your creative sector brings warmth, hope and smiles in your life. You end the year in a wonderful, very, very, like, feeling good. Get ready for unusual circumstances, synchronicities, and fun encounters with original people that could inspire you greatly about your future. In love tender moments, closeness awaits, and maybe a proposal if you're single, a little velvet box. In the coming year, Jupiter, your ruler, and Saturn in your social house brings many many blessings and also the tools to manifest your dreams like never before so expect lots of miracles and applauds and also recognitions for who you are your magical color orange lucky numbers 6 and 42 aries the super full moon in your home sector brings you inspiration and a new beginning your efforts patience understanding all the lessons you learned are now rewarding you. Every now and then, the universe gives us each a run of good luck. Guess what? Yours is starting now. Just in time to make the coming year definitely something to remember. For the coming year, Jupiter 
in your shared resources sector and Saturn in your social house will bring more stability in love finances in career. If you're single, you could find true love and commit. Your magical color red like in numbers 8 and 44. Taurus, get ready for a very exciting start of the year. The super full moon in your communication sector brings joie de vivre, a sense of humor, and the ability to connect with other people. The feeling you have is almost surreal. You attract also powerful people that could help you pull the rabbit out of the hat financially. For the coming year, Jupiter in your relationship sector and Saturn in your karmic house will give you unbelievable support, new opportunities to surpass yourself in love, career, finances. I'm telling you, you're becoming giant bullies. Wow. I mean, little cutie, cute little bullsies. All right? And your magical color, turquoise, like in numbers 5 and 13. You should play lottery. Gemini. Well, what you love more than anything is definitely getting together with people, with family, with friends. It's happening this week. It goes actually double. Somehow you feel very, very appreciated. You have a feeling of celebrating. You've been busy quite a bit in the last few months. Now you can take it easy. The super full moon in your financial sector makes you also popular, aware of your inner and spiritual qualities. In the coming year, Jupiter in your creative sector and Saturn in your shared resources house open new doors. It's not, it's like a new paradigm. It's especially in the career, you really have new opportunities to shine your own light and discover new things about yourself. You get more freedom of action in love, in family, in finances. And the generous of heart on the right side of history will have amazing rewards. So you could always change sides now. Your magical color orange, like in numbers 3 and 56. Ta-da! Cancer, Cancer, you're the start of the new year. The super full moon, your ruler in your sign, brings blessings and a feeling of euphoria. <gasps> what? You, you feel like, wow, everything is possible. You know what? You can accomplish anything. Get ready for many, 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 many positive changes in your routine from now on. In the next couple of weeks and months, wow, things will fall into place like magic. The year ends like with lots of excitement and a lot of hope and like like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel you attract also the attention and of respectful people that could really help you so just just say thank you for all the blessings because you really deserve it on this happy new year you also the ambassador of happiness everywhere you go and for the coming year jupiter in your creative sector and saturn in your relationship house promises healing if you have any health issues it's bye bye Total rebirth in love, in finances, in career, in everything. It's like breakthroughs and finally the time for you to shine your light. Be daring and just show up because people want to help you. Your magical color, gold, lucky number 6 and 42. Leo, the super full moon in your spiritual sector bring a happy end of the year. Get ready for a fantastic week. Everyone sees you as a queen, as a king. You're shining and everybody wants to invite you everywhere. You you have an audience, so you are just going to bow. This is wonderful. In the coming year, Jupiter in your home sector and Saturn in your workhouse will be a new sort of like a new paradigm, a new exciting beginning for you. It brings you confidence and also one or the other. I assure you, your majesty, that you are moving up in the world. It's fresh, it's brand new, and it's made just for you. And in love, expect a beautiful surprise. It cannot be like before, it's all brand new. Do believe in miracles. That's a secret. All positive thoughts, right? Your magical color goes like numbers 8 and 26. Ta-da! Virgo, the super full moon in your social sector make you very optimistic, loving, beautiful, generous. What a great time also to celebrate who you are. You know what you want, you know how to get it. All week the energies are up. Everyone will be delighted to celebrate with you and it's so much fun. The coming year, Jupiter in your communication sector and White Saturn in your creative house brings total rebirth. You can accomplish anything that you put your mind to. Anything in career, in love, in home, life, everything. Expect also some financial surprises. Think big and rich and impossible. That's the secret. Your magical color turquoise lucky numbers 9 and 18. 
Libra! The super full moon in your career sector brings a feeling of peace and serenity. And this end of the year, let your hair down. Sing, dance, and choose to have fun. It's a new year and you feel it in your bones. The perfect time for great, great big changes in your life and to show the world the fabulous confident you. For the coming year, Lucky Jupiter in your financial house and teacher Saturn in your home sector brings a new beginning in personal and career life. Health is also more stable. Love will gently hold your hands one way or the other. Love is there. Enjoy, you deserve it. Your magical color, lilac, lucky numbers, 1 and 10. Scorpio, the super full moon in your karmic sector gives you superpowers and the ability to charmingly, creatively, wisely get what you want. You're the master of your destiny. You make a difference in people's life. It's time to use your intellectual power and superiority to truly make your life the way you want it. In the coming year, Lucky Jupiter is in your sign all year and teacher Saturn in your communication house really enheightens your energy. It brings you popularity, sincere love, recognition and career and financially you can hit a jackpot. I mean, luck is all over your life. So take advantage to the fullest and do believe in magic because you are a magician all year round for you and the people you love. Your magical color fuchsia, lucky numbers 3 and 56. Sagittarius! If anyone loves holidays, it's you. Yes, the super full moon in your shared resources sector make you shine like a star and quiet and peaceful and feeling the love around you. Family make you feel special. In love, also, it's in time for important choices, one or the other. If it's good for you, stay around. If you don't, bye-bye. For the coming year, Jupiter, your ruler, in your spiritual house and Saturn, in your sign now for a while, helps you create a solid base for your future. You can't believe it, that everything is changing for the better. Believe in yourself and go away from the past. Jump quickly into the future. Know who you are, know what you want, and the universe will help you make it happen just like that. Success, satisfaction, and stability and happiness awaits. Are you ready? Yes, you are. Your magical color fuchsia, lucky numbers three and 36, ta -da! And now here's your wizard affirmation for this very special week and also for the year and for life in general. These are the words of Buddha and I love what he wrote. In the end, the only three things that matter is how much you have loved, how gently you have lived your life and how gracefully you were able to let go of things that were not meant for you. And me, Jojo says, God is not stupid. Everything will be okay. Happy New Year, everybody. I love you. And if you want to receive your horoscope every week or get a reading, you can go to my site and you could also become a subscriber and also press like. I love it. That's my gift for the new year. I love you guys. Happy New Year. Ce n'est que nous revoir, mes frères. I love you. Happy New Year.